Hello everyone, so we will be preparing medications inside an ampule and we will be administering it through IBTT to our patient. So first, you have to check the label and you also have to check together with a ticket. That's one of our policy and protocol here in the hospital. And uh, make sure that you flip to the medication administration record, that is your MAR sheet in the chart, and check if all the things written in the ticket as well as in the MAR are the same together with the labels in the ampule. And next, you have to make sure that you break carefully the ampule. As you can see, there is this white dot. Uh, make sure that it should be facing away from you in breaking it. You may use an OS or a handkerchief if you don't have any OS with you. And uh, just make sure that the white portion or the white dot should be away from you in breaking it. And as you can see, the technique of our staff nurse, it was well um, taken off. Then take off the syringe out in the package and uh, make sure that you check well the barrel, the plunger, and if the needle perfectly fits in and um, you insert it directly to the ampule, it should be in the eye level when you try to withdraw it. Um, just be very careful in withdrawing the medication inside the ampule because it might spill. And uh, gently tick the barrel and make sure that you take off the air. And once done, you can recap the needle through fishing method. It's very important to do it this way to avoid needle stick injury. And you have to set it aside, put it inside the basket. Do not forget to discard the ampule in the sharp container after you've done preparing the medication in the syringe. Now we are going to prepare here the sterile water for injection as flushing or if you do have your plain normal saline solution or your plain NSS, you can do so. So then again, when you try to um, withdraw it in that particular amp, you have to make sure that it should be in the eye level. Uh, make sure that you do it gently and uh, the bevel should be facing down, okay? Next, you have to take off the air because you will be inserting the um, sterile water for injection or your plain NSS into the haplock later on. Make sure that you also do the fishing method in um, covering the needle again or recapping. And you also have to pair, prepare again the second syringe, the 3cc syringe for the flushing right after you give the medication. So there are two different syringes that you're going to prepare. One is for the flushing before giving the medication and uh, another for um, after giving the medication. And do the fishing when you try to recap. Make sure that these three are inside the basket. You have to secure it properly and uh, make sure that you have with you your BD pads, your alcohol pads to disinfect before giving the medication to the HEPLOC or heparin lock or the ISA of the patient. And then you have to flush it with a 2cc sterile water for injection or um, plain normal saline solution prior giving it. So as you can see, it was properly tacked in into the HEPLOC or in the ISA. The nurse gently injected and tried to assess if there are any infiltration or phlebitis in the IV of the patient, in the IV line of the patient, and uh, giving the medication right after flushing. So I believe that this is a pain reliever given to the patient. Um, you have to make sure that you secure it properly with your um, left hand or non-dominant hand with the haplock, making sure that it won't dislodge. And uh, by giving the medication, it should be slow because there might be some uh, pain that your patient might experience if you do it abruptly or directly or in a fast manner. And right after which, um, you have to give the flushing, the 2cc flushing. This contains again, then again, the sterile water for injection or your plain normal saline solution and as you've noticed and observed the nurse is doing it gently slowly and trying to um, ask the patient if they feel any pain afterwards you just have to wipe the remaining fluid outside the ISA as what you can see you just have to clean it up and then there you go